FB tweet. Pinterest email send text message print. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene has won the Republican primary in her Georgia district, putting her on the path to be re-elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. The controversial Republican, who is serving her first term in the House, defeated her opponent Jennifer Strahan and four other fellow Republican candidates in the primary race Tuesday, the Associated Press reports. Sending me back to Washington will send a message to the blood-sucking establishment, it is we who will set the policy agenda for the next decade and not them, 47-year-old Green said in her victory speech, for the outlet. We're going to start speaking the truth more forcefully and more loudly than ever before. Among other subjects she touched upon in her remarks after the win included calling for the impeachment of President Joe Biden and her opposition to mask and vaccine mandates, as well as mourning the cruel and illegal treatment of many non-violent January 6 protesters, for the Associated Press. Meanwhile, in response to the Texas elementary school shooting on Tuesday, Green tweeted, we don't need more gun control. Our nation needs to take a serious look at the state of mental health today, she wrote. Sometimes meds can be the problem. America is failing our youngest generations from decades of rejecting good moral values and teachings. We need to return to God, she added. There was a chance that Green's name would have been removed from the primary ballot after a group of voters in her district argued she should be disqualified from running for office, due to her support of those who stormed the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021, and her objection to the Electoral College results that indicated Biden won the presidency over Donald Trump. Green testified in a televised hearing in an Atlanta courtroom in April and said she only believes in peaceful demonstration, adding, I do not support violence. With her testimony, she became the first Republican member of Congress to publicly testify under oath about the Capitol riot of 2021. When Georgia's Secretary of State and an administrative law judge dismissed the voters' claims, Green's re-election bid was allowed to proceed. Green, one of Trump's most loyal allies in Congress, has made courting controversy part of her political brand since before being elected in 2020. The former president backed Green for re-election with an endorsement in April. She doesn't back down, she doesn't give up, and she has always been with Trump, he said in a statement. She loves our country and MAGA, its greatest ever political movement. Marjorie is running for re-election to Congress, and has my complete and total endorsement. In a campaign ad posted to her Facebook page, Green said Biden, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other communist Democrats hate America, hate God, hate our farmers and hate you. Shortly after she began her first term in Congress, Green was stripped of her committee assignments in February 2021 in an unusual show of disapproval for her past support of conspiracy theories, violent rhetoric and other controversial behavior. She amassed massive fines for not wearing a face mask on the floor of the House of Representatives, breaking a House rule put in place for pandemic safety. In October 2021, Green got into a verbal sparring match with fellow Republican Liz Cheney on the House floor. 
in April, she three U.S. senators pro-pedophile for their support of Biden's historic Supreme Court nominee, Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. Green even engaged in a days-long feud with Jimmy Kimmel after he made a joke about her on his talk show. By Aaron Parsley By Olivia Jaquil By Shafiq Najib at Shafiq Najib